Tiva in the hall. A big old sack. A big old sack. Because I am the material mom. And that means I want to give gifts to all of my children and grandchildren. So I am the material mom to do that. And you can see my daughter gave me this sign. It's kind of bright. I'll show you. It has um, degrees of brightness, degrees of glory. <laughs> and as it goes down, you can kind of read it better when it's not so bright, maybe. Maybe. Because it's still daytime. All right, I scoot back a little. I scooted back a little so I have more room on my table because I think it makes it much better for you and me to have a table here to show the things I buy rather than hanging it in the air and half the time it's down too low and everything, you know? I'm gonna scoot up a little bit more. All right, I think I'm in the frame and I finished this one. For the next week's giveaway, mint green, don't enter. I already have the winner for this one. Okay, I'll announce it next week. So be sure to stay tuned. Well, today is Sunday, so next week will be next week. <laughs> are you following me? Hope you are. I have a hard time following myself sometimes. All right. This order is a Timu order and everything in it is gifts for other people. Not for me. I know it's not Christmas. I know it's weird time of year. These aren't really going to be like a birthday gift or a Christmas gift. It's a gift. I'm just bought it to give to people because of things. I will tell you as I come along why I got this gift for them. Okay. So, there might be a few stories involved in this from the material mom, Angela Burton. Today, I just had so many people coming to me, all teenagers coming up to me. Are you material mom? I want to meet material mom. And then they all came running over to me. Oh, I don't know what to say when I, I'm just like, oh no, which video did you watch? You're so funny. Which video did you watch? I don't know. Oh, I left my tools out. That was terrible. I didn't know they were on this chair because I had other things on the chair. Taking its play, covering it. No, I tried to hang this straight. And so I had my level and a hammer. So that's it. All right, what did I buy? All right, I guess I'll just take things. I know what I bought. It's all for other people. So don't. You know, I'm not, I, I have everything I need. So now I got to buy for other people. No, don't worry. I did buy it. <laughs> the next TV haul is all for me. All right. I paid. I couldn't believe this price. You know, I'm getting the great granddaughter being born. And you know, after a while, they need a bigger blanket, not just a little blanket, baby blanket. And so I got this. And I might save it for Christmas for her. But it was only $3.08. $0.18. And it's like a real big crib size blanket. Oh, and it's so soft. And they had all sizes, but not for $3.18. And it has the pink and the purple. So, you know, every little kid loves this lovely feel of the fabric so i will say this for and i know what her name is now unless they change it but as of now it's going to be emma isn't that darling i love that name because you know i named my daughter emily and when she was little we always called her emmy and so you know emmy because she was had the four older brothers and they all worshipped her. And Cameron and Trevor would rock her to sleep when she was little and babysat her. And, oh, and she loved them, too, the big brothers. So anyway, and then my sister had four boys, uh, a little younger than my boys, about the same age as some of them were. And then those four boys, they lived in our same town. She called them the cousin brothers because they were like her brothers, but they were cousins. So she had her four, four brothers, and then she had the cousin brothers. And their names all started with an A, so they, we called them the A-team. 
before Emily was born, and then we called them the Cousin Brothers. So, that's just a little family joke. And I also got this for the new grand, great grandbaby because it was 65 cents for the wet wipes. And I already bought four for myself because they were so cheap. And this one is kind of more juvenile-y. So that's gonna be for her too. And then, you know how I love, love, love the personalized ornaments. Just a minute, I got four of them. Where's the other one? Not, okay, I found all four of them. All right, this is for my brother. I'm not, I may give it to him for Christmas, but I'm going to give it the next time I see him. I don't think he watches this. He won't see it. But he has in the most beautiful, perfect family in the whole wide world. And Janice and, his, and him, and they've been married like a zillion years, you know, 50 years, I don't know. Carolyn and Rob, I think they just hit 55 years. Is that right? How old are they? Yeah. So Larry, I think he got married after Carolyn. But anyway, they have six children, four girls and two boys. And they went over to Thailand and the kids came over there too, the married kids, and they had their picture taken all together. And I got this, I had this printed up for them for a Christmas ornament. Aren't they cute? They have Brandon. He lives in Boston, Massachusetts. And he's quite, well, I mean, he's doing really well. If you have an airplane jet, you're doing good. And then Sarah, she married an orthopedic doctor, I think, and they live in Arizona. And then Neil, he lives in, like, by San Francisco, and he has five kids, beautiful family. Sarah, I think, has four, and Brandon has four. And then Erica, no, Ellen and Erica. Can't remember which one's the oldest. Anyway, I mean, older, Ellen or Erica. And er I think er uh, Ellen has four children, and Erica has about seven, eight, eight I don't know. And then Alicia has five, and she lives in Arizona. Erica and Ellen live in Salt, in you know, around Salt Lake. So anyway, I'm gonna give this to my brother, or Janice, when I see him next. And then I got him this one too, because when my brother was in Thailand, he met this guy. I don't remember the guy's name. Maybe you will recognize him. And he shook hands with this guy and. He was an important guy. And so I got this made up for my brother. So this will be great. Got the presents ready for him. And then I got these. Oh, I forgot one of these is mine. I wonder why I got two of them. Who I'm gonna give the other one to? Which, which one? I already gave David a present when he was here. Remember the pillows? All right, look at this. Now this is uh, me and the siblings with my siblings. I have two brothers and I have three sisters. So we have four girls and two boys in the family. And so here it is. Here, you know, I recognize David, he's the baby. Larry, Kaylin, Shauna, you haven't met her. And me, look how thin I was then because I was dieting and I lost weight and I wanna be this weight again. And then Lisa, my baby sister, and David. These two are very spoiled because they were the babies of the family. Sean and I, middle children. These two, they got for oldest boy, oldest girl. You know what kind of treats they get in life. Okay, but I love them all. I wanna get, I should get six of these for all of us to have one. I have time. So maybe I will. But anyway, good idea for gifts. Personalized ones. Oh, my message is sending. My message is sending. What message am I sending? I wonder what that means. I don't know. I never saw that kind of. Oh, it's on Instagram. No, I don't. Please don't bother me with any more. Because, you know. You get involved in too much of that phone crap. 
Leave me alone. All right. I have a niece, Lisa, my sister Lisa. She's younger than me. She was the spoiled daughter and the cute, beautiful skin daughter that, you know, beautiful hair, beautiful skin. Okay, we got to get ready to go. It takes me an hour and a half. It takes her 15 minutes because she doesn't have to do anything because she's beautiful the way she comes. All right. So, oh, you sound jealous. Yeah, I am. I take an hour and a half. She gets 15 minutes. You know, beautiful hair that she doesn't have to straighten. It just is beautiful that way. And, you know, her eyes are beautiful. She doesn't have hooded eyes like I got. Thanks, Dad. But she has a daughter that is handicapped. Um, when she was like three, maybe two and a half or three years old, she fell 22 feet or something from a balcony and landed on her head. Anyway, she's brain damaged. She's the most beautiful, lovely person you've ever met. You would rather spend time with her than anyone else because she's so perfect and lovely. Anyway, she loves sunglasses. She loves to have her purse and a doll. that Every doll she gets, she names Emma, I think. Oh, that's funny. Anyway, so every time I see her, I have give a gift for her that I know something she would like. Last time I had like 10 pairs of sunglasses to give her. And they were fruity, kooky ones. Lisa goes, thanks, you know. But these time I got her cool ones. They were 44 cents. And so when I see Alyssa, I'm going to give her these sunglasses. And they're beautiful. She'll love them. So, you know, you got to be prepared because when the time comes and they're coming, you don't have time to order from Timu. It takes two weeks. Oh, no, they're coming in a week. I don't have time. Plus, then also, um, we don't have any stores in town to go and buy what I want to buy. So, I got to have this on hand for Alyssa. All right. Now, this I got. I already have these, and I love them. They were a dollar seventy-seven. I think they still are. You cannot. Oh, that noisy paper. You cannot. I I use them all the time. They are so cool. There's three different sizes. But like, I put my strawberries in here. Put the water in here. Rinse them. Rinse them. Rinse them. Wash them. Wash them. Raspberries, strawberries, asparagus, all the things. You can wash with these. Plus, you can drain your noodles. They're perfect. So, this, I got these for a gift. Because they'll be nice for somebody who doesn't look at Timu and doesn't, doesn't know they needed it. And I'll show them. You needed this. Yes, you did. I know you didn't know about it. So, I got them out. Now... I got these and I got four packages because, and you're going to go, why? Because I have a lot of granddaughters and aren't these darling socks? There's a flower, one pair, two pair, a heart, a little critter, a three, four, five. Five pair for 58 cents each. That means these are like 10 cents a pair. So I got them for Macy, Brinley, Ellie, and London. Or something like that. Anyway, so I'm set. All right, now I went over to Chad's house the other day, my oldest son. And the electrician had to come over because the plug in the, in the bathroom wasn't working, the whole light system and everything. I'm the landlord. So who does he call the landlord? Which is, Mom, I need help. I need this. So anyway, I said, find an electrician and call him and I'll pay. Finally, he found one and I called him and I paid. But anyway, they came over. So Chad was at work, so I had to go over there and sit when the electrician was there and, you know, tell him what needs to be done and everything. Well, while I was sitting there, you know, I thought, huh, I'm not doing anything. I think I will do his dishes. So, you know how I love to do dishes. 
hands in the warm water and sudsy water. I, yes, I fill a big sink of sudsy water and the rinse water. Nowadays, the kids just have a sponge they squirt soap on and wash each thing. But no, I didn't. So I put it in the soapy water and did all his dishes, but he did not have a scratcher or a good dish rag or anything. I'm like, what? And then the rag he had, I would have thrown it away. It was that bad. So I said the next time they have these on sale, I am buying it for him. And so I found them on sale. A whole bunch of different ones. 67 cents for these. These are all blue ones, 67 cents. And these were 87 cents because I think there's 10 of them in here. This was a really nice buy. 10 of them, yes, 10 of them for 87 cents. And these are the gray ones. And so I'm gonna give them to him because I don't need them, but he does. And well, I'm not waiting for Christmas. He needs them now. So anyway, I will take those over to him. When's Father's Day? Maybe I'll save them for Father's Day in June. Isn't that in June? Don't fall. I'm sad. All right. Ari, my one granddaughter, Ari, called me. She's 16. And she said, Grandma, could you order this shirt for me? Because they don't have anything like this in town. And I want a cool shirt. And da 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 da. I don't know what she said. Anyway, what size? A medium. So I got it for her. But it's a man's, a boy's shirt. But it was, um, it went cheaper, six seventy one. So then the other day, I texted her and I said, "Your shirt came," and she goes, she puts ha ha ha. I go, well, "What does that mean?" Oh, it was for somebody else. And I said, "Well, do you still want the shirt?" She goes, yeah, I still want it. Thanks. So I don't even get the whole story. If this is for a boyfriend, I don't know what it is. But anyway, it goes to Ari, and she'll do with it what she may. But I don't know what if it's for her, if it's for a friend. She said it was for work. I said, where do you work? And she told me. I forgot where it was. So I don't know. But anyway, I got it for her. So that's for her. Then I got all of these stickers. Are they for me? No. Now, in the day, when I used to write a ton of letters, when I used to babysit, then I would have had these for me. But these are not for me. Because... I think that's all of them. And because they were like 40 cents, 49 cents, 50 cents. All of these different stickers. And my grandkids in Trevor's classroom, third grade teacher, they love these. And so, these are sports cars. Look how cute they all are. A hot ton of different sports cars that, you know, little boys might like. So, sports cars. The dream always to have a sports car. But when you get old, uh, we can't have a sports car. It won't drive in the snow. Sports cars don't drive in the snow. I don't want a fast car like a sports car. That means I'd get a ticket probably because I would go fast. Anyway, and I think, is this sports cars too? Yeah, I got two packs of sports cars. So maybe Jackson and maybe Credence or maybe Trevor's Classroom. And then I got three packs of the Fairy Princesses. Princess ones. No, maybe I lied. I got two packs of the Princess ones. So I don't know who to. They have 50 of them in here. So if they have duplicates, I might go through them. And if there's duplicates, I'll make two piles and have enough 25 for each girl. Because, you know, they don't need two of each. They don't need 50. 25 is plenty. 
And let's see what princesses they are. Are they real? No. They are not a real princess, Disney princess. They're just girls. Cute girls, though, with big eyes. So they're cute. All doing different things. Cartoons. They're cute. They're wonderful. Her Trevor's classroom, those little girls, you know. All right, so there's two packages of those. 42 cents. Oh, these are monster trucks. Because you know that age of boys loves monster trucks. Oh, they taped this one good. And I know Credence, I mean, my daughter Aunt Hillary and Emily, they've both gone to those monster truck in the big, in Salt Lake and stuff to see him. And so their little boys love these monster truck things. And Credence for his birthday, he always wanted a, a remote control monster truck. And I always got that for him. So anyway, there's a lot in here. Oh, there's probably 50. Oh, it says 14 years and up. I think you could be eight and know how to handle them. That's silly. 14 years. A 14-year-old probably wouldn't even want them. Maybe if you're Chinese, you had to be 14. But in America, in England, in Australia, where all my friends are, when you're eight, you can have stickers. Oh, these are the these are for Macy. She wanted the unicorn ones. And they're all unicorns. You know, unicorns are real. Oh, that's, this is not a unicorn. Unicorns are real popular with the little girls right now. Aren't they cute? Unicorn with wings. A round unicorn. A cartoon unicorn. And then you got some stars and cloud unicorns. Anyway, every unicorn you can possibly think about. I wonder who made a unicorn up. Since a unicorn was never a real animal, somebody had a dream one night. I think a lot of things are dreams. I've watched movies, crazy movies. I think this must have been a dream of somebody. And I do have one other one in here. I know, I do have, oh yeah, here's another sticker. I knew I had three princess ones. No, but I have another one that's not for me. Oh, I have a lot more. And this is another one that's, uh, and this is another one. Monster trucks. I got enough for everybody for 50 cents. I don't know what this one is. All right, I'll open it. Wish it would say on there. Oh, it does. Sports car, another sports car. No, but I know I got another one because it was a roll, a roll of them. Okay, I'll find it. I know I will. I'll find it. It was a roll of dinosaur ones. Now, I bought these when they were a dollar, and I thought that was a good buy. But now they were only 69 cents. Now, the pink one was 69 cents. The blue one was 66 cents. And um, if anybody knows, I have a dog collection. What kind of dogs? These kind of little dogs. And I have all of these kind of things and all the collections and the dog houses and everything for the kids to play with. So for 69 cents, I usually buy one little puppy for that price. So I got blue and uh, pink. Because I don't know if Jamie's little granddaughter, I'm not supposed to talk about their family on here. I might give one to give, give them to that little girl. They're going to be coming June 7th. And so... I might give them to them. All right, this. I can't remember if Credence picked this out or if I was just thinking for Trevor's school kids. But it was 58 cents, and it's a wallet. You might say, oh, doesn't Jamie need a new wallet? Yes, he does, and I bought him too. Yes, he does. 
falling apart. What does he use? His old wallet still. Now this one is pretty cool. Deluxe. It has an eagle and then this little emblem right here that says hang, hang, bowl. hang, it's not an American word. Anyway, so I don't know if little boys like wallets or coin purses or whatever. I don't know. I'll ask Trevor. Trevor, will the little boys like this in your class, third grader? Or do they want a coin purse? And then Trevor will tell me, yes, or no, they don't. So anyway, if they don't like it, I'll say, Trevor, do you need a new wallet? It's fake vinyl. Okay, I mean real vinyl. Okay, the next thing I got, because it was only 34 cents. And you know how nowadays, even the big kids can't tell time the right way. So when I see somebody who can't tell the time, I'm gonna say, I got something for you. We're gonna have a lesson and we're gonna learn how to tell time for 34 cents. Or I'm gonna ask Trevor if he can use it in his classroom for something. Anyway, but it's not for me. I don't want it because I know how to tell time. All I know is time goes by way too fast. All right, then I got these to give away because I was ordering them when they were a dollar each, thinking that was really cheap. It wasn't. Because now they're like 38 cents and 47 cents each. And they even come with a hat and a necklace or a crown and sunglasses. This one even has a gun. And I got them for the cruise ships. I think I'm gonna glue these on though, before I go. But I got boy ones and girl ones for that price. And you hide them on the ship and then I'm gonna have my hang tag on it that says, tune in for Miracle Mom and watch her channel. So it's gonna be a tax deductible gimmick. Not really. I mean, it's gonna be a gimmick, but I don't think it's tax deductible. Besides, it's only like $3. Okay. Oh, I bought two of these because if Brinley and Bella both want one. And then I got this for 83 cents because I think I paid like at Christmas time, like $5 for mine. And so now they're 83 cents, but I don't need two of them. What is it? It's a train, a Christmas train that is pink, like my trees. I got two pink Christmas trees this, for next year because we're going to really outdo it. And I know it's going to be fun Christmas. Okay, here it is. It's pretty cute. Oh, wait, I have it backwards. Uh, 89 cents. So... You could glitter it if it wasn't pretty enough for you. Put gold glitter on the gold parts and stuff. Good idea. I might do it. So, I might give it to a little girl. I don't know what I'll do. Anyway, next. This. Now this, I had one. And Connor, my one grandson, this is only 19 cents. And my one grandson asked me, Grandma, do you have one of those things that you can put on your bottom of your tube and get all the toothpaste off and everything? And I said, yes, I do. And so I gave, he said, I'll give it back to you when my toothpaste is gone. I said, no, you can have it. So I know he likes those. So this will be a gift for either him or Parker, one of those college kids so they can use every last bit of their tubal stuff because, you know, they're poor in college and they need it. Give that to anybody that's poor. All right, this was a splurge for me, $4.97. I hope, I mean, this box looks janky, but it looks pretty cool. Did you see him? And, you know, I don't want to break it. It's plastic. It's nothing 
you know, it's not going to be in your high-end gift shop. Let's just put it that way. Maybe nowadays it will be because everything's getting cheaper and cheaper. Made, I mean, cheaper, cheaper plastic. But can't you picture when we had these, then it was a rich one, wood, carved horses. Does it play music? What does it do? Yes. Okay. They showed it on top of the birthday cake. That'd be cute. So, I liked it. Wonder what the name of that song is. I remember hearing that song. And it comes in pink and blue. Probably the blue one was more money than the pink one. It's a fairy canopy carousel hand wound. Oh, you don't get to wind it with a little thingy. No batteries. Well, good. We don't. Did you see batteries? How the prices, the grocery store always used to have, you know, it was an off the grocery store brand really cheap for a whole big 24 of them. And they were like cheap. I would always buy them there. Now I looked at them and it was like almost $20. I'm like, whoa. Is green and environmentally friendly. Winding step. Hold the canopy in position with one hand and the other hand hold the bottom and turn it clockwise. When the music box rotates, it will emit a pleasant music. A small Trojan horse. It also rotates and rotates with the music, which is very cute. Okay, they had somebody write that for them, write that up. They probably paid them to write that. It's very nice. Oh, I wish it came in a prettier box for a gift giving. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I know it's a gift, a nice gift, if the box was nicer. Anyway, so now I never came to the dinosaur stickers. I came to them now. Look at how big it was. All right, here it is, the dinosaur stickers. They're on a roll. Does it say how many? 500. Oh my, for somebody who loves dinosaurs. Now, I think all of my grandkids have outgrown dinosaurs, but you know who the person who has not outgrown dinosaurs? Jamie, I told you this before. He has a box of dinosaurs in his study over there, in his library, in his, he doesn't do anything in that room, except store his books. All right. He has a bin in there, and these dinosaurs are not dollar store dinosaurs. He bought them at the Smithsonian, you know, museums and stuff, paid a lot of money for them. Those big necked ones, and they're like, you know, scaled down to the right scale of the big ones, you know. Anyway, he wanted to decorate the bedroom in dinosaurs, or the dining room, or the living room. I said, no. You already have dead animals hanging around here. Statues of every animal made. You know, fish tanks. If tanks growing bugs, all this stuff. No, I put my foot down with dinosaurs. You're not going to decorate. So I always like to kid him and tell him, the dinosaurs were never here. They're just made up things. They never roamed the earth. And it's just a myth. And then he gets really mad and says, they are too real. They found fossils. But I just like to do it to get them going. But anyway, so maybe I'll give him these dinosaur stickers for Father's Day, since he loves them so much. All right, that was it. How much did I pay? Too much. I don't know. Now, everything. This was the most expensive thing for $5. Well, I bought $10 worth of stickers. Anyway, like I say, it's gifts for everyone. So now I get to take all this stuff put it in my closet on the shelf, which I think the shelves are full. I need to go in there and take everything off the shelves and find out what's gifts, what I'm keeping and sort it through and all the gift stuff, put it in a separate box so it won't be mixed up with the stuff that's for me that I'm storing. I think that's a good idea that I might do tomorrow or the next day or the next day. 
or maybe next week when I'm free on the next rainy day. Because if it's a sunny day, I'm going outside. But I, um, I hope that you uh, liked this little haul. You probably didn't like it. There's nothing here you're probably going to buy. And I know that I showed you what to buy. But maybe you liked my stories I told or something else. Anyway, all right. Let me push the red button.